Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review South with the Seabirds by Jess McEachin. This is a narrative non-fiction picture book all about four female scientists who studied the wildlife at the edge of the world on Macquarie Island, which is between Australia and Antarctica. So the blurb says, in 1959, Mary Gillum, Isabel Bennett, Hope McPherson and Susan Ingham embarked on an adventure to Macquarie Island as the first four female scientists to join an Australian research expedition to the sub-Antarctic. They were greeted by giant seabirds, snorting seals and penguins as far as the eye could see. Join their journey south and discover their incredible legacy in this inspiring new work by CBCA award-winning author and illustrator Jess McEachin. I have to admit, I didn't know Macquarie Island existed, but that's my issue and something that I needed to rectify. But I had not heard of these scientists either, and I thought it was so great that this is a book celebrating female scientists, including Australian women, who embarked on this adventure. The illustrations in this are fantastic, and it is a narrative nonfiction, so it is their story of how they traveled, but it also does identify many of the animals that they were studying and observing, which is really cool because, you know, as I said, I didn't know that this was a thing. And what did I learn from it? Well, I learned the fact that we, again, it managed to introduce pests into an island that uh, were destroying the wildlife. And that now, as a result of the work that these four female scientists did, Australia was able to, over time, eradicate the pests that were introduced over there, which is amazing. There is this amazing timeline at the end, which is kind of a history of Macquarie Island, which was also great. So I, I learned a lot while reading this book. Um, there's also information about the four women, including a photograph of them, and also tips for young naturalists. A lot of Jess McEachin's work centers around environmentalism and information sharing on flora and fauna, particularly in relation to Australia. So this is just an amazing addition to their collection and to mine. I was so excited to see that it was coming out and I, it was one of the fastest requests ever. As I said, I did receive this for review. It is utterly delightful. I have become such a big fan of narrative nonfiction over the last couple of years, particularly in picture books, because I think it's a really great way to engage younger readers in learning more about topics that maybe they haven't heard of or even, you know, learning about people that they, they don't know that much information about. It's such a, a good jumping off point for, okay, now we need to find out more. And that's when you can really start diving into more traditional nonfiction. I think this is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to share it with my students and it comes out on the 3rd of September. So thank you again to the publisher for the review copy. I will leave links to where you can find out more information down below about the book. If you're planning on picking up this book or any of Jess's other books, feel free to let me know which one's down below. Otherwise, feel free to leave any kind of ship emoji down below. I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.